Okay, so I figured I would shoot a video on the, to answer the question, how big of a sled can you fit on an eight foot trailer? And because I was look, I was actually trying to find the answer to this question um, when I was trying to get a smaller trailer for uh, for my sled. Um, I actually have a ten foot open trailer that I use, and uh, I've had it for a while. And for the most part, um, my wife only goes with me uh every so often and you know to my friends and whatever i'm either riding i'm either going single on a on a double up trailer or i'm usually uh i'm basically going up with those guys and sticking my sled in their trailer so so what i wanted to do uh, i still have the 10 foot trailer um me and my brother we share it and for the most part it's usually at my brother's house just because i don't have the storage for it uh, but i uh, was looking for a single place trailer for the longest time and uh, I finally managed to pick one up uh, about two weeks ago. Um, I picked this trailer up about for $175, believe it or not. And even though it was $175, it didn't look like this when I picked it up. Um, it needs some work. Um, so I'm just going to go around this real quick to, uh, to show you what I did. Um, so when I first got it, uh, if you notice, the deck on it is brand new. I went ahead and replaced the deck. Um, and when I replaced the deck, I put a uh, an old piece of uh, track down there to use a, as a ski mat. Um, I still gotta go grab some some guides for the skis on it. Uh, I'll probably grab that in a couple weeks, um, and I'll actually make a video on, on the material I'm gonna use. I'm actually gonna pick up some material from Home Depot. Um, I also put on some D rings on the back for uh, for strapping it down. So, and. This is a steel trailer. It's a galvanized steel trailer that's been painted. Um, when I got it, uh, it definitely didn't look like this. Uh, those decals are actually new. The original decals were like the 1983 teal blue awful uh, decals. So I actually removed those. And I actually removed the decals because I wanted to uh, wire wheel the whole trailer and basically uh, get rid of any surface rust, which really there wasn't a lot, but there was just enough to warrant really going at it and, and uh, cleaning it up. So um, I went around the whole trailer, wire brushed it, hit it with some scuff pads and cleaned it up really nice, gave it a nice fresh coat of paint and basically it's it came out pretty good. Um, also hit the wheels with a wire wheel and cleaned those up too and painted those. Um, I picked up the, the snow shield off of Craigslist for 40 bucks. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, I also picked up one of those Harbor Freight Jack's hands for 20 bucks. So what's nice about this trailer, um, not only does the sled fit, um, it also fits in my garage. So this is a 24 by 24 garage. The garage itself is not that big. I have quite a bit of stuff in here. So with the sled on the trailer and the, and the trailer tucked in the corner, I can still get my car in here and my Jeep in here as well. So, but the answer to the original question, how big of a sled can you stick on an 8-foot trailer? This is a 2006 Polaris FST with a 128. So if you look at it, the, uh, the sled, yes, the sled does fit. Um, it's right at the edge of the trailer, but it doesn't overhang other than the, than the bumper. So, so, yes, it does fit. Um, it, it fits on there pretty well. And uh, what's nice about this trailer, I can lift this up with, with really one hand and spin this thing around in the garage and really move it anywhere I want. Um, it's super light, and uh, so my, so it's, it's pretty good. Um, so, um, so a word of, of advice, if you actually have a caravan trailer and you need parts for your trailer, I would highly recommend going to caravan.com and sourcing uh, any parts out because you can buy them directly from Caravan and their prices are dirt cheap. Um, just for example, um, I ordered two new grommets for the tails, the decals on both sides, and the uh, new uh, screw rod, um, which isn't installed. And even with shipping to my door, um, with tax and everything, it was $20. $20, it's cheap. You can't even, I don't think you'd even be able to order a grommet um, or even a light at even at, at a trailer supply for more, less than 15 bucks. So, and they're a, they're a direct fit. 
So if you ever need parts for a caravan trailer, definitely go to Caravan. You can't beat it. Their prices are cheap. And um, what's nice about their their parts center is, excuse me, they um they have an entire listing of all the uh, parts, and uh, they have a CAD drawing for all the parts that are listed that they're selling. So if you ever have any question whether the part is going to fit or not, um, just pull up the CAD drawing, and they have all the dimensions for the for the parts, and uh, it's pretty foolproof to order uh, or the right part. So, in in closing, so whether or not anything over a 121 will fit on an eight foot trailer, basically that's the limit uh, a 128. Um, so, um, so it will fit. It's just tight. So, if anybody has any questions or anything like that. Uh, throw any comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Bye.